Ecclesiastes chapter 9. These two I carefully explored. Even though the actions of godly and wise people are in God's hands, no one knows whether God will show them favor. The same destiny ultimately awaits everyone, whether righteous or wicked, good or bad, ceremonially clean or unclean, religious or irreligious. Good people receive the same treatment as sinners, and people who make promises to God are treated like people who don't. It seems so wrong that everyone under the sun suffers the same fate, already twisted by evil. People choose their own mad course, for they have no hope. There is nothing ahead but death anyway. There is hope only for the living. As they say, it's better to be a live dog than a dead lion. The living at least know they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward, nor are they remembered. Whatever they did in their lifetime, loving, hating, envying, is all long gone. There's no longer play a part in anything here on earth. So go ahead, eat your food with joy, and drink your wine with a happy heart, for God approves of this. Wear fine clothes with a splash of cologne. Live happily with the woman you love through all the meaningless days of life that God has given you under the sun. The wife God gives you is your reward for all your earthly toil. Whatever you do, do well, for when you go to the grave, there will be no work or planning or knowledge or wisdom. I have observed something else under the sun. The fastest runner doesn't always win the race, and the strongest warrior does not always win the battle. The wise sometimes go hungry, and the skillful are not necessarily wealthy. And those who are educated don't always lead successful life. It is all decided by chance, by being in the right place at the right time. People can never predict when hard times might come. Like fish in a net or birds in a trap, people are caught by sudden tragedy. Here is another bit of wisdom that has impressed me as I have watched the way our world works. There was a small town with only a few people, and a great king came with his army and besieged it. A poor wise man knew how to save the town, and so it was rescued, but afterward no one thought to thank him. So even though wisdom is better than strength, those who are wise will be despised if they are poor. What they say will not be appreciated for long. Better to hear the quiet words of a wise person than the shouts of a foolish king. Better to have wisdom than weapons of war. But one sinners can destroy much that is good. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 As dead flies cause even a bottle of perfume to stink, so a little foolishness spoils great wisdom and honor. A wise person chooses the right road, a fool takes the wrong one. You can identify fools just by the way they walk down the street. If your boss is angry at you, don't quit. A quiet spirit can overcome even great mistakes. There is another evil I have seen under the sun. Kings and rulers make a grave mistake when they give great authority to foolish people and low positions to people of proven worth. I have seen servants riding horseback like princes, and princes walking like servants. When you dig a well, you might fall in. When you demolish an old wall, you could be beaten by a snake. When you work in a quarry, stone might fall and crush you. When you chop wood, there is a danger with each stroke of your axe. Using a dull axe requires great strength. So sharpen the blade. That's the value of wisdom. It helps you succeed. If a snake bites before you charm it, what's the use of being a snake charmer? Wise words bring approval, but fools are destroyed by their own words. Fools base their thoughts on foolish assumptions, so their conclusion will be wicked madness. They chatter on and on 
No one really knows what is going to happen. No one can predict the future. Fools are exhausted by a little work that they cannot even find their way home. What sorrow for the land ruled by a servant, the land whose leaders feast in the morning. Happy is the land whose king is a noble leader and whose leaders feast at the proper time to gain strength for their work, not to get drunk. Laziness leads to a sagging roof. Idleness leads to a leaky house. A party gives laughter, wine gives happiness, and money gives everything. Never make light of the king even in your thoughts, and don't make fun of the powerful even in your own bedroom, for a little bird might deliver your message and tell them what you said.